at the Midwest Scroll Saw and Woodworking Trade Show last week, I was in the Seiko booth and I picked up a new tool, one that I had actually seen for a few years and had thought about purchasing a few times, but I really didn't think I had a need for it. Um, lately, I've actually had a few people email me and ask me to take a look at this tool and see what I think. Um, I've had it in the shop now a couple of days and I've really started to change my mind. It really is a tool that I think I'll be using quite a bit. So let's get in here and take a closer look at it. What you see in front of me here is called the Scrollers Drill and it's sold by Seiko over at uh, seyco.com. That's seiko.com. And it allows you to drill your entry holes really quite easily. Uh, now I have used a full size drill press for years and uh, I always thought that was uh, the best way to do it, but uh, like I said uh, in the intro, I'm starting to change my mind. I really like this. Um, what this gives you is it gives you the ability to drill your entry holes without the uh, restrictions of the depth of the throat on a common drill press. Especially if you're using larger boards, there's times when you can't get to some of the entry holes to drill them with a drill press and you have to resort to a hand drill. Now, hand drills are typically pretty heavy, and if you've got a lot of interior entry holes to drill, uh, it's really quite tiring uh, to use that. So that's where this comes in. It also uh, has the feature that it will drill a perfectly 90 degree angle, which you can't always do with the hand drill either. Uh, so this one, once you lay it flat on the wood and you push the drill down, uh, you're gonna get a nice 90 degree cut. Um, I've made a couple of little changes here to it uh, that has made it more useful for me and I've actually got another change that I'm going to make also. Uh, generally when you have your wood blank, and I'm going to use a smaller piece of wood here because I've got a project I want to work on, and I was a little concerned uh, because this is typically going to be used on a larger board that I might not be able to use these little scraps that I use on the scroll saw uh, with this little drill press simply because I wouldn't have enough room to rest the base on. But I've actually found that not to be true. The base is large enough uh, that I can turn this at different angles and still get in here to some of these real small entry holes. Now, right now I have a micro drill bit inserted into the chuck. The chuck will go up to an eighth of an inch drill bit and I typically use a 1 16th inch drill bit for most of my projects, uh, but I wanted to give this uh, little micro bit a test here. Uh, the drill did come with uh, 20 drill bits. I'm not sure what these size, they're probably, what size these are. They're probably like a 64 or something like that. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to use here. A couple other features that it has is it has this little uh, screw back here that you can turn. And as the screw protrudes out the bottom of the base, it'll actually raise it up so you can drill at different angles. Okay, so if you're doing like a bowl or a relief cut type of project and you want that entry hole uh, to drill at the same angle you're going to place your uh, table on your saw, then this comes in real handy. Now, this is one of the changes that I've made. This screw that they use to place the angle is probably perfectly sufficient for all it's asked to do. It's not really, doesn't really have a lot of pressure, but it is plastic. And uh, that just, I'm, I'm almost certain that in my clumsiness, I'm going to break that really quick. So what I did was I went over to my hardware kit and I got a one quarter inch, uh, 20 threads per inch uh, bolt. And I just epoxied a, uh, th a uh, wing nut to it. And I replaced that plastic one with this metal boat. And I just think that's going to be a little more durable. Now, with the um, length of the bolt that I'm using here, I can get to seven degrees, and that's probably sufficient for everything I ever do. Uh, but obviously, if you needed more, all you have to do is get a larger bolt or a longer bolt, so that won't be a problem. The other thing that I'm in the process of working on is I thought, well, if you're going to tilt this thing at an angle and you want to set it to the same thing your scroll saw is going to be set at, it'd be nice to use this little uh, Wixie uh, digital angle gauge to do that. So I've got a little piece of metal right here and the bottom of the Wixie gauge obviously has the magnet on it and I'm going to apply this piece of metal right here on this arm on the base and that way when I get ready to set my angle gauge on it I can set it right there, turn on the gauge zero it out, and then screw this down until I get to the angle I want. 
So that's going to be real handy. I haven't put that plate on there yet. Right now, I've just been able to set it here, and it stays in place pretty well because you know you're not putting a whole lot of uh, movement on this base, you know, when you move it. So I've been able to adjust it without doing that. But just to be a little more efficient, I am going to go ahead and mount the metal plate on there. Turn this back around here. One of the complaints that I'd heard about this thing, actually the only complaint I'd heard about it, uh, was that when you go to push this down, uh, it tends to get stuck down sometimes. The bearing that's inside of this plastic block has to be uh, fit to this shaft very closely. Otherwise, if you rack this thing a little bit, it would definitely get stuck. So I think every once in a while you might have to put a little bit of dry lubricant on the shaft. Uh, but the other thing I found is the way you do this is there's a red button right here. And when you hit that button, it turns the drill on. Well, it's a uh, button that you have to push, but as soon as you let go, it turns the, the uh, drill off. So what I did is I just took this tie wrap, put it on there. Uh, that way, when I turn it on, I can slide this tie wrap over up on it, and then now I'm hands-free. Now I can move this down, make my entry hole, move it to the next position, put it down, drill my next entry hole, and on and on. Um, I'm going to take this uh, small project that I'm working on tonight and drill the entry holes in it here real quick and uh, you'll get an idea of just how easy this thing is to use. So I'm going to start drilling my entry holes in this little project here and I've got the tie wrap pushed up over it. This is not the perfect solution though. It, it comes off too easy. I'm going to have to come up with a better solution than that. But it'll be easy. It's easy to drill into this little uh, block and we can just add a switch there. Uh, not another switch, but a little arm that we can push over to the side of it. So I'm going to drill a couple entry holes here. And what I like about this is even with this small drill bit, I'm able to get very well lined up with the interior pieces that I need to drill out. This is much easier than the full-size drill press that I've been using. Um, I didn't think it was easier when I was trying to hold this button as I, as I pushed down. That actually got quite tiring on my hand. But this little tie wrap is making it fantastic. Yeah, let's see. A couple over here. And you can see what I'm having to do, which is not a problem, but I am having to turn this thing on this small piece. Now this is a very small piece of wood I'm using, and I, I just wanted to show you that you could do it on this size. Um, most pieces are going to obviously be bigger than this, and you won't have this much trouble. But really, the way I'm doing it now is not really a problem. I'll zoom in here a little closer and uh, give you a little better look at it. I've got all the entry holes, uh, the interior entry holes drilled, but I do need one more on the outside here. So I'm going to show you that I can actually get up here and just by sliding this thing around, I can line myself up really quite well. Drill the hole, bring it back up. So you can see even though I'm off the wood quite a bit, it's still plenty stable. Now I would have a hard time if I was drilling angle holes uh, this close with this small of a board. Uh, but for what I'm doing with the 90 degree uh, entry holes, it's working perfectly. Here's a situation where the scroller's drill comes in really handy. And that is if you were going to do like a large portrait pattern on a piece of board this size, if your drill press didn't have a throat that was at least half the width or length of this board, the shaft of the drill press would prevent you from getting to the center of the board to do your entry hole. Absolutely perfect. You just take the driller's scroller's drill, put it where you need to go, drill your entry hole, move to the next one. Uh, probably the most efficient small drill I've ever seen. Uh, it slides very well because of this phenolic type plastic they're using. Um, I haven't had any problems with it hanging up on me, uh, and I think part of that is because I'm using this tie rip to hold the button down, so I don't have that awkward position of trying to put my finger on the button while I'm pushing down at the same time. Uh, so that's worked fine. I actually even sometimes can use both hands to push down, which has given me a nice even pressure, and that seems to work really good. Um, I cannot think of a negative about this, and I actually went into this... Uh, uh, review with uh, I was actually pretty skeptical I didn't I really didn't think it was something that I needed um, but I was wrong this is a very nice product um, it is a little expensive but it's one of those tools that uh, once you have it uh, you're going to be glad you paid for it uh, the 
the uh, scroller's drill is $109 and that does come with 20 drill bits. Uh, it comes with the power supply which is a uh, 12 volt 3.5 amp power supply so it's supplying plenty of power to this drill uh, I have drilled through some pretty dense wood with it and it doesn't seem to bog it down any at all so uh, we're using real small drill bits so it's not like uh, you know we're trying to auger out a lot of wood so it doesn't seem to be a problem at all so as products go this is the uh, surprise product of the year for me because like I say I, I didn't have the anticipation that I was going to find this as useful as I have. So I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope it gives you some ideas of, uh, of some projects that you might be able to take on that you hadn't before just simply because there were too many entry holes. Uh, this one makes drilling those entry holes uh, much less tedious. So I like it. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop and we'll see you next time.